All right, guys, so unless some, like, really super big, huge information comes out that changes the story a little bit, this will probably be the last time I come out and just talk about this. Like, if somebody does a reaction to it and I decide to do a reaction video to their reaction, then that's a little different. I might do that. But let's talk about Ikmo, Santa Mae, and the two Ronnies. Yes, two Ronnies. So... Ikamel had a guy named Ronnie call into his YouTube channel on a live and tell everybody that his this guy's cousins were at this party for the whole night and watched this girl the whole night. Like, two eyewitnesses at the party sit there and watch this girl why this girl but watch this girl the whole night everything she did get drunk talk to people walk to her car walk back from her car uh, everything like this Ronnie guy said that his cousin told him all this crap and they were eyewitnesses to this girl being drunk and wasted at this party The cinema show crapper, which you guys don't know who that is, uh, don't go watch him. He's a worthless piece of crap. He's proved that he's a worthless piece of crap. Has said that uh, Brian's in the wrong because he took that too far. We'll get to that in a minute, though. But don't watch Cinema Showgun. Go unsubscribe to him if you're subscribed to him. That guy is, he's lost his freaking mind. I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. But, uh, so anyways, this Ronnie guy calls in, but... Nobody put it in their mind to think that the cops would want to talk to these two eyewitnesses that followed this girl around at this party. No, the cops didn't want to talk to this person. Never asked about this person. Never brought up this person. Never went to see what this person had to say. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of fishy. That, that's a that's a that's a little fishy, don't you think? Yeah, because the story is bullshit. The cops figured out the story was bullshit. Ryan Upchurch figured out the story was bullshit, and that pisses this uh, freaking. What the fuck's his name? Ictamel. I'm probably saying it wrong and I don't really give a shit. Uh, apparently, from what I've been hearing from people today, Ictamel has had this Ronnie guy call in with different names for the Summer Wells case and the Gabby Bertino case. So this guy apparently has called in different times in different cases with different names to drum up uh, views for this Ictamel's channel. Well, Ryan was digging into their crap because he figured out they're full of shit. And this Ronnie guy changed his story when Ryan was on there. And Ryan kept calling him out for changing his fucking story. And this pissed Ikamel off, so they brought in this Santa Mae girl. Who is supposed to take uh, Ronnie's side and say that he was right. And, well, this... Sorry, bitch was uh, at the other party. Yes, at the other party. There was two parties there. She said she had a film of the other party and that she was there taking video of the other party. But she would never show the video from this other party. Oh, and she also said she was a she in some kind of armed forces, which she was never in. So, yeah, anybody that lies about being in the armed forces, yeah, they deserve to be called whatever they're called. If you're going to lie about defending the United States of America, yeah, you're a piece of crap. Period. But Cinema Shogun's real, really thinks these people are fucking awesome. Yeah, he's a piece of crap, too. He didn't even look into this story. I, like, like uh, everybody's been saying, who, who sent money to... Uh, 
Kylie's parents or sent anything to uh, anybody for for anything? Oh, that was that was Ryan who is uh, <coughs> supposedly going to send his Hellcat. If they don't accept the Hellcat, he's going to make a donation to AWP with of the amount that he paid for the Hellcat. So if the Hellcat was a million dollars, we we know it's not. But if it was, he's going to send a check to them for a million dollars. It's probably like anywhere from forty to eighty thousand is what I'd say. But it's probably customized, so it's probably a little bit more expensive than what an actual one would cost. So. Yeah, it's probably between forty and eighty thousand that he's gonna send to AWP if they don't accept the car. But back to the 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 story. So Ikamel and Asanime have an LLC together. Have you ever heard of two people that don't have a clue who they are, don't know each other at all, never seen each other, don't know each other, don't know anything about each other? Having an LLC together? Yeah, that that doesn't make any sense, right? Right. Also, somewhere along the lines, there was a picture made for their LLC with this Ronnie guy's picture being on there from the past. Yeah, they all know each other. But then there was a guy that called Ryan Upchurch on his phone number which become Ronnie number two, which was the white Ronnie. He called up church. Up church called him out on his BS, and this dude showed his face at the end of their conversation in a video. Well, this guy is on Instagram with Santa May. Like, his picture is on Instagram with Santa May. So all four of these people, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ikamel, and Santa May, know each other in some way. You know why? Because uh, Ikamel paid Ronnie to say some bullshit to get more views for his fucking channel. Let's go with the Santa May now. Let's go back to her for a little bit. So this Santa May girl, who was at the other party... The night that this happened, decides to go to the lake uh, where this all happened a few days ago. Like a week ago or two weeks ago, something like that. Like a week ago. Uh, Takes a video of it. Shows her and her dog getting into a kayak. And where where they go, literally, where these people are shown, where the video goes... She is literally kayaking right where the car was found. Literally. And I had did not see this, so this is just hearsay cause, until I see otherwise. But apparently she was on a live with somebody and there was people in the chats telling her to bring something to break the window. Why would you break the window? Why does... does She'd have to know the car's there, where the car is, and is she going to break the window? Also, apparently, there was a spot on her laptop seen in a video where it said how to scuba dive. It's kind of, kind of fishy. Like, So, the Ronnie guy and the other Ronnie guy and the Ichabel 100% have nothing to do with Kylie's passing. 100%. Like, it was bullshit what they did. Ikamel should be canceled for making fake people for the last three big cases, which is Summer Wells, Gabby Bertino, and now Kylie uh, Rodney. Uh, So he should be, he definitely should be canceled. But they have nothing to do with her passing. The Santa May girl... I'd say she has nothing... I want to say she doesn't have anything to do with this. I want to say that. But boy, she's put herself in some bad predicaments in this. Like, she's she's just... It's almost like she knew where the car was. It, it, it's not sounding good. But the fucked up thing about this whole story is... 
she was supposedly at this party, the other party. This Ronnie guy was cousins were supposedly at this party, but the cops didn't interview any of these three people that were supposedly at the party or around the party that night. Should tell you that they all were feeding us a bullshit story the whole time. Ryan called them out on their BS. Did he go a little too far with it? Yes, probably. But he called them out on their BS. And... Maybe he's still right. Maybe this fucking Santa Mae person will be involved somehow in this. She should still go to get in trouble for a personating an officer. Uh, a federal... Uh, I don't know, a Marine or whatever she said she was. She a Marine or Navy SEAL or whatever. She's some something in the Army. And people have found out she was never in the Army. So she should get in trouble for that for sure. But, uh, yeah. Um, if you're subscribed to Ikamel, you probably should unsubscribe from the guy because everything he tells you guys is a lie to a point. Yes, he does cover the stories. He's... Yeah, you can't even say he's good at it because now it's been proven that he lies and makes up stuff to bring in views. Crazy. But I guess, whatever. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know. And like I say, guys, I'm not going to cover these dumbasses anymore unless, like, some brand new evidence comes out about them or I'm doing a reaction to somebody else's video. So this is the last time I will cover... Ikamel, Santa Mae, or either one of the Ronnie guys until some new information comes out. Bye, guys. If you want to support my channel, you can do so by checking out my Facebook page. Link in the description. If you guys want to send me something cool in my P.O. Box, that's also in the description below. Bye, guys.